For this episode of In the Kitchen, we're going to be making a delicious Bavarian pretzel bites recipe. We're going to start this recipe off by whisking two and a quarter tablespoons of yeast into a bowl with one and a half cups of warm water and then let it sit for one minute. The next step involves whisking one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of butter into the bowl. Once our butter has completely mixed in, we're going to slowly add in three cups of flour until the batter is thick. If your batter is sticky, add in the extra flour until you can poke the dough and it bounces back. Next, we need a flat and floured surface to work on so that we can knead the dough for about three minutes into a large ball. Then cover your dough with a towel and let it sit for 15 minutes. While you're waiting for your dough to rise, preheat the oven to 400 degrees and bring nine cups of water and half a cup of baking soda to a boil. Next, we're going to line a couple of baking sheets with parchment paper and then grease it. After that, cut your dough into little balls about an inch in diameter and spread them across the baking sheet. Now we're going to dip each pretzel bite into the boiling water for about 20 to 30 seconds. Before returning each to the baking sheet, make sure to let all the excess water drip off. Then season the pretzels with salt and put in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. Now we're going to start on the second half of our recipe, the beer cheese. To start, we're going to combine a quarter of a cup of butter, a quarter of a cup of flour, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in a medium saucepan over medium heat for one minute. Stir in one cup of milk, two thirds cup of beer, one teaspoon of yellow mustard, and one teaspoon of soy sauce and whisk until bubbly. After that, add in three cups of cheddar cheese and stir until smooth. Transfer to a dish and serve. Once plated, you may enjoy your Bavarian pretzel bites. This recipe was very fun to make and very delicious. I highly recommend it. Stay tuned next time where we'll be cooking a brand new recipe in the kitchen. Until then, this has been Tyler Garofalo. And Jack Berry. Safe cooking, flyers.